Hello guys and welcome to another episode of the Let's Restore the Pagan Roman Empire campaign in Europe Universalis for Mare Nostrum. So far uh, our attempts to become pagan have not been optimal, let's just say that. Um, our pagan rebels keep killing themselves on the doomstack of uh, the land of Vagina, Vaginagar. Uh, so that's annoying. Because, uh, of course they have to station all their troops here. I don't even know why. I mean, we're allies. Why would they need to do that? Doesn't make any sense. Let's boost relations, though. I do want to s keep them as an ally. Because I do fear that if they ever become hostile to me, they'll start trying to gobble up these provinces they have here. And uh, that we cannot accept. At least not until I am properly paganized. Uh, but, you know, we're waiting for another stack. In 3.6 years, that will rise up. In the meantime, though... I think Tunis is the guy we're invading, if I remember correctly. Are we funding the army? No, we're not. But we are now, so let's just wait for that to get up there. No, nobody gets ac access. You guys are killing my rebels even if you don't have access. Just imagine all the madness you can do if you have access. Anyways, uh, something good has happened over here though. Portugal has decided to ditch their previous ally, France. And they have now invaded. This is of course good because we do want to expand into Iberia and Northern Africa here. Um, the plan uh, right now is to take Morocco and see if we can ally them. Which we can actually do, yeah. Uh, we do not have a relation slot for them. Because we have too many allies. But I do like my allies, so I don't know how we're going to deal with that. Although actually, we don't have to ally them, do we? No, we can just give them this land back by clicking the button in the peace deal. So that's what we'll do. We'll take some land here and we'll transfer this land to Morocco. Of course, the reason we want to do that is because Morocco is Muslim. So that once it has been transferred to Morocco, we can conquer it without anybody really caring. Of course, not that much of this land is that necessary, though. It's only certain territories here in the... Uh, Western Maghreb that is actually relevant to the Roman Empire, so whether or not that will ever take over the whole of Morocco, I'm not sure. Regardless, uh, let us destroy the land of Tunis. We cannot fabricate any more claims. That's fine though, we're fabricating claims on Croatia as of right now. We'll see how France is dying. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Uh, we are allied to them, so hopefully they don't die too hard. I really just hope that the Portuguese will take a lot of land in Iberia so that I can take that. Uh, and that the French can help me fight the Portuguese for Iberian land. Uh, that would be optimal, wouldn't it? Alright. Let's teach, a por teach the Portuguese the, uh, the awesomeness of being a part of the Roman Empire Reborn. Well, we're not the Roman Empire Reborn quite yet, but we're getting there. Let's do Constantine, how oh, fitting. I mean, we have essentially restored all the Eastern Roman provinces with the exception of some islands here in the Aegean Sea. So, we are definitely getting there. Uh, Alright, march. Acquire all the clays. Yeah, I realize now this is going to be rather easy. For some reason, they have dismantled all their forts. So they don't have any defenses. So I can just march in here and... I mean, the AI gets free upkeep for forts, don't they? So I have no idea what they're up to. And the one province they try to siege is the, the one fort of... Uh, the one province of mine that actually has a fort, so... Yeah, this will be a rather quick war. Which is nice, of course, because... Uh, that lets me move on to other things, like invading Europe. Oh, Persia, what? What? Oh, Persia has spawned. Is that new? Truce with Oman. No, that's not new. They are released by Oman. Now, I guess, yeah, I guess the Tabaristani must have fought them and released them. So that's interesting. I don't know why Tabaristan would do such a thing, because now they uh, can't form Persia. But, you know, nobody understands the, the way of uh, Tabaristan. The Tabaristanis are surely a very weird people. Well, I don't know, Tabaristani might not be the right word for them. Maybe you should call them Mazan... Mazandarians. I don't know. That's the primary culture anyways. Access from Bohemia? Of course I would give access to my, val to my valued ally. It's 
Speaking of valued allies, let's, um, let's boost relations. I need to boost relations with everyone, really. I mean, the only reason I have all these allies is, of course, just because I want to... Uh, ooh. Ah, well, actually, no. Yeah, we can actually ally Portugal. That's hilarious. Huh, that might not be too stupid. Do they have... Yeah, they are facing some aggressive expansion. I really just want to make sure everybody do not care much about my aggressive expansion. I'm really am afraid of Poland, though. I don't like that they are getting so salty about my expansion. Because if they ditch me, then we're in trouble. Because they are rather strong. And I need them as a balance against Russia, who hates me for some reason. Guess the, yeah, I guess it's, it's really just this one dumb province here, Theodoro. Oh, there we are. The war is over. What do we want? Well, everything I have a claim on, essentially. Well, I don't care that much for these... Uh, these provinces. Uh, although I guess we might as well take them. Wait, can I just full annex? No, but pretty darn close to it. Yeah, whether or not we'll keep all of this land to the end of the game, because I do have some ideas of maybe making a puppet down here called Numid Numidia when I unlock custom... Um, custom uh, puppet states. That's for example why I haven't bothered taking Fezan yet. So maybe going overboard here is not really that useful. So I think we might just do this instead. Ask for some money. Oh man, they have a lot of money. Get some tribute maybe? Yeah. So we'll do this. Uh, this will give us some rather nice borders. I mean maybe just this can be Numidia. I'm not sure. Maybe I won't even establish Numidia. It will. We will have to wait and see. This will, of course, not bother the uh, Europeans too much, as everybody knows. Europeans don't care about Muslims. Oh, I accidentally said something controversial. Anyways, um, wow, that was really bad. Actually, <laughs> that wasn't even. That wasn't even funny. Uh, okay, let's reduce upkeep and uh, I don't know. Plot the destruction of Croatia. God damn it. No, that's so not okay. Why? You fucking... Ah, oh, he, he's doing the same thing again. God damn it, Vijayanagar. I'm not even going to bother trying to pronounce you correctly. For fuck's sake. It's going to ruin my rebels. <laughs> that sounds weird. Like, oh no, my ally is going to kill my rebels for me. But that's true. Well, maybe. I mean, if he can actually win the war, then it might be in our favor, because he'll get stuck down here. But last time I checked, he sucks balls, and he's completely incapable of such things. He's going to fort defense, guy, even if we don't have any forts down there. I'll, I'll live in the dream, I guess. Also, how come we're gaining no admin? Let's balance that shit, bro. guess I don't have a very good admin dude, but... Yeah. I mean, we're, we are currently working on admin ideas, so it only makes sense that we're getting some of that admin stuff done. No! No! There is no way! That is so unlucky! Fuck you! God damn it! Please don't... <gasps> They're actually winning! <gasps> That's hilarious! Oh, no, oh, you're going the wrong way, though. How did you pull that off, Rebels? Have you finally gotten your shit together? Oh, man. This, 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 this might be good. No, don't... Oh, fuck you. I thought Botan was going in to kill my Rebels there. All right, yeah, take that, and then you must move on to Tirhut. Don't think of going there. Come on. Come on, Rebels. Let's do this together. Let's work. Let's do it for the greater good. Please go the correct way. I beg you. Yes! It is a glorious day indeed. Oh, I might be over overreacting again uh, a little bit, but I feel I deserve it. Can I just abandon these provinces? Because I, I really don't want them to start marching east again. That would be annoying. No, fuck you, Botan. You're not getting shit. What? Oh, fuck me. You keep getting me heart attacks with these centers of reform. Alright, so now at least one more province is Animist. 
which means we might be able to... I don't know, I'm not going to even look into any of this. Let's just hope that they... Ooh, new year that I can actually name myself. Let's give him one of those Turkish, Turco-Roman names. Uh, fuck, how do you write Gaius? Alright, Gaius Bemetus Augustus. The new Sultan. May he please age quickly so that I don't get a regency. That will be great. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's see again. Drinking my tea here. Intention. Oh, that's good tea. What? No. What? What? What the fuck are you doing, mate? Where exactly are you going? Why are you going into Bukhara? What the... Where are you going? <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, man! What is this? What the hell are you doing? Is this what usually happens with my rebels? They just wander off into Afghanistan? See, last time I checked, if you want to survive, marching into Afghanistan is not the brightest idea. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, they're surviving, so that's positive. Yeah, this might be brilliant, actually. As long as this army fucks off. Can I... <sighs> Maybe they will miss each other, I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of brilliant, actually. Now, please don't go into... Oh, wow, where is he heading, though? I am now... Now I'm very intrigued. What is going on? <laughs> He's just tearing his way through Persia. This is hilarious. Shiraz... Okay, now you need to quickly get back into my territory, because this army is going to come down and kill you if you don't. Yes! Kuzestan! <gasps> oh, fuck me, I forgot to not fund my fortifications. Can I unfund it while you're standing here? No, that's not how that works. Oh well. This is good! We have animists in uh, bordering Mesopotamia. Although I guess this weird game claims that this is Mesopotamia, so... That is, uh, this is good! This is progress! There it is! The rebels have taken Kuzestan. Fucking brilliant. So now we have Animist over here. That's good. Very good indeed. This is also a state, which is even better. Uh, because we might be able to spawn more Animist here. So now, this whole line of provinces is no longer as necessary. Why not even be that stupid to kind of abolish it? Because you can see, they're, now they're moving the other way again. Um, which is not what I want. So actually, can I abandon this province? No existing nation. What? Persia has lost their core on it? Yeah, Persia has lost a lot of cores for some reason. Interesting. So I cannot abandon any of these provinces. That sucks. Can I just sell it then? Because, I mean, this might be very stupid, but it might also be smart. Persia. Would you mind just sort of holding on to this province? Or I don't know. Who would make for a good dependence guarantee by Tabaristan? Well, if you're gonna have to fight Tabaristan any well no, he's hostile, so he's not gonna wanna buy anything. Sell provinces. We are at war, oh, yeah, that's right, we are. Well, hopefully that'll end soon. Hmm. Huh! <laughs> he's like, ah, enemies! Muslims must kill! <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh oh. <laughs> these are badass. How many armies have these guys killed? Oh man, this is this is kind of making up for all the quote-unquote bad luck I've had with my animism so far. Ugh, this is so hilarious. Right, let's get the last religious idea. Alright, the Inquisition. So that gives us cheaper culture conversion costs, which is brilliant because I have a lot of admin or diplo, I mean, sitting around. Um, of course, now that a bunch of provinces are going to be occupied by uh, rebels, uh, going mental with conversion might not be the brightest of ideas, but... Well, but yeah, but it really looks like these rebels have uh, sort of realized which way they should march at this point, which is brilliant. I'm very happy. Now the question is, do I wage war all the while this madness is going on? It might be smart to just chill a bit. Conquer Kaffa. Uh, that might not be that bad, actually, because that's a very nice province. Yeah, maybe a war on Venice. 
and Kaffa would be good, but I do sort of want to finish off Croatia though. I feel like he has lived a bit long. He should uh, probably be exterminated. I do want to make sure the Polish join up. Kara will join up of all people, but not Poland. No, actually Poland will join. So we could wage war upon Croatia, which I think we might just do. Yeah, fuck it. Why not? Although, mm, I might convince the Polish to kill my animists. Nah, surely they will be distracted. Ah, here we are. Pegu has peaced out, so what happened exactly? Nothing super relevant to me, so that's fine. Good. Are these guys getting it? Yeah, they are. Rebel talk about 12 out of 164 provinces. They may break it if they... okay. Um, that's fine. I'm, uh, so, so far these rebels have been doing good. I'm gonna try to take some promises back here uh, to see if I can trigger even more rebels to spawn. But yeah, while this is happening, let's see if we can annex uh, Croatia. Are you still allied to the Pope? Yeah, still allied to the Pope, that's annoying. So the Pope is not waging war with everyone now, but... Oh, Poland. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Let's actually postpone this war a bit. Uh, breaking lines. Oh, why? What did I do? Oh, you're hostile now. Okay. Okay, then. That's how things are going to be. Well, I guess I've gotten the things I want. Now, who can be in a replacement? I thought, uh, no. No, this is bad. This does not bode well for my promises down here. Right, I've changed my mind again. I want to invade Croatia. Getting a bit tired. Oh, but what? Now you need provinces all of a sudden? What happened? Oh, we have true still. Oh, okay, never mind. I guess I didn't change my mind then. When does this end? Two years? Come on, guys. What is this all about? Do you not accept my intense desire to wage war upon all my enemies? What about Venice? Can I raid you? No, nope, not without France. And he's in debt right now. Ugh, boring. <laughs> the strength of fate. Faith, I mean. Um, yeah. We're, we're impressing the people around us, despite actually working on abolishing Islam in our nation. <laughs> oh, E4. No, what? Ah, damn it, my rebels left. Fuck's sake. Well, I guess this was not the day we were going to get converted then. I am trying to trigger some new one, but it's only in this province I was able to get any revolt risk. Oh, really? They marched all the way to my European holdings. That's hilarious. Ha! Huh. I thought that wouldn't be possible. Well, so much for my planning. Yeah, Europe is gonna be... Ooh, this is brilliant though. Well, not this province, but if they are to move into these provinces, then glory will be ours. Because then we can uh, convince more people to riot. Because these guys are already super angry. Kosovo just revolted. Let's make sure these guys don't interfere with the rebels that matter. And let's hope they march west. If they're gonna like go back to Asia. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, they are, aren't they? <laughs> God damn it. Why am I surprised? These rebels, they, they have no logic. There they are again, back in Asia. Killing off the Georgians. <laughs> like, a, like the terror, this is like the pagan horde. Roaming about, terrorizing everyone in their path. Uh, this is hilarious. Ooh, this might make for a good uh, new little place for... Yes, because this is a territory. Meaning I should be able to turn it into a state. And... Um, lower autonomy to make a lot of people angry. That could be good, because right now we're not getting any real progress for these animus stealets. Oh wow, when you make it into a state it just automatically goes down to zero. Well that makes this a little bit less fun then. Do you think it's about time we go to war though? I think some good old war exhaustion and uh, other happy good things could really help this effort of ours. So I think this is what we're gonna go for. We're gonna go for the acquisition of Dalmatia I think. All right. No, let's do Hume just for a war score, or simplification of getting war score, I guess. Call in Poland, uh, we'll call in Bohemia, I guess. 
Kara. I can't be bothered. I have a feeling they're just, they're just gonna roam around here and... Well, they could really help against Georgia though. But... Yeah, I still think I don't really want to. I, in general, don't want people to roam around with my rebels down here, so we're gonna leave them out of it. Surely I can deal with Georgia on my own. So let's go for this. Kill him, take the fort, and kill him. And let's get some of that sweet, sweet uh, overextension and uh, other things. Ooh, this is the first time I've seen the AI try to offer me condottieri. I'm not gonna do that though. <laughs> 18 per month, are you drunk? <laughs> Moron. I can easily gain a bunch of mercenaries for that price. That will be cheaper. So that's good. Oh, they keep. This is annoying. They, they seem to really want to take this province um, that I'm trying to quote unquote convert, but of course I'm not actually trying to convert it. I'm just trying to make it uh, revolt faster. But I guess we'll leave it in their control. Just so. Uh, uh, just to simplify things a bit, I guess. Oh god, no, please don't tell me these guys are going to kill my rebels. Hopefully they're just running off to kill uh, the Georgians. If not, we're gonna have an issue. A very big issue indeed. Let me kill these guys for you, Poland. You don't need to... Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. No, he's going south. Shit. No! Poland, don't think about it, yes. Fuck off. Oh god, here comes Bohemia as well. Oh, we lost, really? Huh. Oh god damn it. Well, I fucked up, didn't I? I fucked up badly. Well, there goes those rebels. Damn it. Damn it. Well, this war was a mistake then. It was a mistake indeed. Right, we're gonna peace out these guys, and just because the opportunity is here, we're gonna take some provinces. They'll make the borders just look a tad bit smoother. So, we'll, yeah, we'll get you out of the war. Here we are. Oh man, look at them borders. So good. Oh, really? Fuck, I just peaced out the entire war. Oh, god damn it. That was, of course. Oh, fuck's sake. God damn it. I'm so dumb. Uh, well, while we wait, I guess we'll adopt the cultural unity policy. And we'll begin some casual culture conversion throughout our lands. Some of it might be, might be interrupted by the... Oh wow, that's super cheap. Some of it might, of course, be interrupted by rebels if they decide to rise up again, but... We'll try. We'll, we'll just do a couple, just to make sure we don't have too much diplo power. Right, uh, I think we're actually going to go to war again, but this time we will not call in any allies. This time we'll do it purely for the war exhaustion and just awfulness that will hit our nation, and hopefully that will make these animists a bit more angry. Here we are, finally! Get a new stack. But sadly, it's just one stack though, that's annoying. Because these one stacks, they're so feckin' slow. Wow, we're actually getting the first level of admin efficiency already! Did not know that was that fast. I guess I'm just used to getting these texts super late in the game. <laughs> so it's just abnormal to get them this early. Although I guess we are we're not well, we're not late game yet, but we're definitely getting there. And I am definitely a bit worried about, you know, the lack of progress we have made in Europe here when it comes to forming the Roman Empire. But it's just that we're getting bogged down with this Opaganism thing. It's gonna have to do a lot of coalition stuff, I assume, just fucking blast through Europe. That will have to be the goal. Alright, I think it's about time we end this war with this guy and we'll wage some other thing. Um, that didn't really work. So I think we need a bit more of a serious war here. I say we wage war on Venice. I do want to bring some allies into it though. I will want Bohemia, uh, because we will have to fight Burgundy as well, which would be kind of brutal. Sadly, France does not want to. That's annoying, but what are you going to do? This might be a bit overkill, but uh, I hope at least Bohemians will focus on their enemies and not my rebels. 
We can only really hope. If I see things, if I see the Bohemians start doing dumb stuff, I might just white piece out. I just, I just can't handle sitting around looking the year ticking while we are not rebuilding the empire. Uh, but at least we'll keep Poland out of it. So there is that. I did want to originally invade Berg Genoa, but he has allied. Um, no, he's been guaranteed by the Pope, so that's what sort of prevents me from doing that, because I don't want to fight the Pope and Venice, that would be a bit overkill. So we're just going to do Venice straight up. So let's get in here and see if we can take ourselves some clay. Some sweet, sweet little clays. Oh god, yeah, this might have been a very bad plan. Oh god. Oh no. Shit. Here comes stupid Bohemia, a little bit late, but they tried. Was that Burgundy as well? Because that was a lot of enemy troops. I guess these troops are needed up here. I th was sort of hoping they wouldn't be, but it looks like they are indeed. What? Our alliance with Poland is breaking? Why? No longer desires me as an ally? What? That complicates everything. Now I don't even have the option to call them into this war. Huh. Yes, now this is definitely going to get rather bad, potentially. Alright, here we have a battle. Hopefully we can win this, at least. Yeah, we crush them. Fuck yeah. Four shock general. They don't stain the chance. Let's wreck them over here as well. Or not. Let's... Okay, well, let's begin the siege anyways then. Ha! Australia will give me access despite us being epic enemies. Because we need to run up here, my good friends. Come on, dude, I have access. Access! Ah, oh, the fort is blocking me, isn't it? Yeah. That's a problem. So now this army is going to get fucked up. Alright, let's get some naval action going. First circumnavigation. Good on you. And we're going into debt. That's fine though. We can afford it. Well, I guess technically if you're in debt you can't afford it, but you know what I mean. You can deal with it, I should say. Right, we're gonna pay a hundred ducats to push Ulm out of the war. Just so we don't have to be worried about that. And so we can further focus on the Italian front. Oh god, I do not want to battle here. Can you can we can we not do this? Oh, it looks like we're going to attack them right in the mountains, so that's not good. But we might be able to win somehow. Ah, uh, no, there comes 30k. Oh my god. Ah, Bohemia does not even want to help me. He's like, no, I can see where this is going. Not into a good place. Yeah, I really regret at this point not calling Poland in. That definitely would have been good. Anyways, the Greekification of everything is continuing. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't... Well, I guess maybe it is time for Diplotech. Uh, yeah, it actually would be, because... I would mind that morale and whatnot. So let's... Repair our navy and let's go fight. So hopefully these animists will rise up soon so we get another army to speed up the conversion in just a little bit, at least. Oh wow, there we go. The Bohemians just peace out. Which actually makes the war favor me even more, which is hilarious, but... Yeah, let's make sure we sit in their provinces here, so that uh, if they think of attacking us, we're the ones going to be in a good position. I mean, in a way, that simplifies the frontier, but it's also, of course, bad, because now we have fewer troops to use. It's also too late to call Poland in. And they keep not deciding... Oh, peace from Genoa. But, like, a big part of this war is the fact that I want Kaffa. I guess that's just not going to happen. So sure, we'll piece you out. Just to simplify things a bit. All right, now we're oh god, did they get there before me? Fuck, they did. God damn it. That was some dank meme strategies on their part, but the Burgundians are nowhere to be seen, so that actually worked out f in uh, favor of me. Oh, the Venetians actually want peace. That's a good sign. Uh, the Burgundians are not at war with anyone else. They're just not giving a shit, it seems, which is fine. Hey, France, my bro! Although you're fighting 
Portugal as well, which might be a problem for you, but whatever, this is fine. This will hopefully distract the Burgundians a bit. I mean, right now they're roaming around in Africa, but hopefully they'll understand that that's not a very good idea. Also, we've gotten a new uh, stack of rebels. Seems like the other stack just joined this, the original ones. Now we have a vast 40k stack, so that's not going to die anytime soon, at least. So that's positive. You want white peace? Yeah, you, I don't think you quite understand what position you are in. We're taking your capital as, you, as I speak. So, uh, I desire your claim, and I will require it. Hopefully the uh, Burgundians will give up soon enough. Or just ditch the war anyways. Whoa! When did this stack get so huge? Uh, I guess maybe they, there were some more rebels, it's just that I couldn't see them. Very interesting. And very useful. Oh, new ruler! Gaius Memetus Augustus I, Osmanoglu, has taken the throne, and his heir is sort of shit. Regardless, I think this would be a nice place to end the episode, to be honest. So yeah, let's end it here. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, bye.